talk about this? I don't know why you're so upset with me because I did a good job. I thought this was going to be a good thing for us. I don't understand why you even applied for the position. You don't know anything about the company. I know, but the pay is great. You can't just turn something down like that. You do realize we won't be able to see each other. Don't you? I know. Working third shift is going to be a bitch, but we'll make it work. I know we will. No. You don't understand. We won't see each other. Didn't they tell you anything about the position? Yeah. It's a desk job. It sounds simple enough. I just answer calls. If you do take this job, I won't be here when you return. I'll be gone, all my stuff will be gone, and you'll be alone. Please don't take me. It'll be okay. You'll be fine. Hey, wake up. I'm awake. Every night you come in, set your briefcase down, straighten your phone, pull out your ledger, as you just sit there and flick your lighter while you wait for that one phone call you've never gotten. The ball, though, yeah, that's new. Come on, get up, move around, get some exercise. Don't worry about the phone call. You have plenty of time to answer it. Toss it back. So who's on the other end of the line? What's so uh, important about this phone? I really don't know who's on the other end. They just told me to answer it when it rings. What is your job title? Support call representative, I think. Support, you think? Don't you have a boss or a supervisor? Wouldn't they know? Look, I really don't know. I come in, I log my time, and at the end of the week, I submit my ledger and I get paid. I really don't have anyone to report to. I'm not going to say anything unless the paychecks stop. Who signs your checks? I, I don't know, but from what I understand, it has something to do with the toroidal LHC apparatus. I guess it's like an off-site call location. They told me I was one of three who know about the experiment outside of their facility. If they call, I have to follow the orders they give me, which I think that lever on the wall has something to do with it because my first day they told me never to touch it unless I was instructed. <laughs> Here I was thinking it was something exciting, like uh, people having a hard time downloading porn to their computer. So what do you do? Ah, you know, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. I work second shift. Pretty much stare at a plank wall all day. That, that makes no sense. Why are you here anyway? Hm. This is boring. What's next? Uh, you tell me.
bring to eat? I forgot mine. Really, man, that was my only sandwich. sit here and watch the phone all day. Pretty much. How important is the call, you suppose? I don't know. Pretty important, I think. They just told me to answer the phone and follow their directions. So... What do you, uh think would happen if I just go over there and pull the switch. I don't know and I really don't want to find out. You're not a bit curious as to what it does? No, not really. So you're saying you're paid to wait for a phone call, one of which you haven't received after working here for how many years? Eight. Eight? Jesus Christ, man. Eight years? And in those eight years, you haven't had any desire to walk over this wall and pull this lever. building? No. Oh. Okay. Yeah. It'll be the next guy's problem. And I suggest to you don't be that guy. Maybe go to the women's restroom or something. I'm just saying. Have you gotten a call yet? Nope. I've been trying to convince him we need to pull the lever. You haven't pulled the lever yet. Huh. You've been here how long? Nine years? Eight. I could have sworn it was nine years. Well, better not break that streak. Don't pull it. Pull it. I don't care. I'm hungry. Did you bring anything to eat? Hmm. So why are you here too? Watch must be off.
So, uh, you guys have girlfriends? Nope. Mm. Mm. None here either. You? Uh. I, uh, I did have one before I started working here. She... She said if I took this job, she'd be gone and I'd never see her again. I didn't take her seriously. I mean, how could I? Things were going so great for us. But, sure enough, after my first day, I came home and all her stuff was gone. No trace of anything. She took her clothes, toiletries, even that stupid little plant she got for the both of us at the farmer's market. I knew that working the third shift, things were gonna be hard for us, but, but I was willing to put in the extra effort to make things work. I guess she wasn't. That, uh, man, that really sucks, I'm sorry. Did you ever try calling her? I did, but the phone number was disconnected. We're sorry, the number you have dialed cannot be reached. Please check the number and try again. What was her name? Stacy. Uh, that that kind of sounds like my story.
Yes, sir. I understand, sir. Thank you.